squared plus 2ab, sorry, not 2ab, uh, 2 multiplied by 70 multiplied by, not sorry, not multiplied, yeah, multiplied by 1, and then plus uh, 1 square. Okay, and this will be? What is 70? Four uh, 4,900. Yeah. And then... Um, <coughs> Just calculate. Then one, huh. See, anything then multiplied by 1 is itself. So, multiply these two. Uh, 140. Yeah, then? Uh, plus 1. Good. So, you just simply add these up. What do you get? Five thousand forty one. Okay. The second one. Can you tell me which one we should use in the second one? The same identity is we can use is... hundred minus one whole square. This also we can use. We can use 90 plus 9 also. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 100, okay. 100 minus 1 makes it easier to calculate because there's 1 over there. No? So, let's do one thing. You try with A minus B, this 100 minus 1 whole square. And I will try with 90 plus 9 whole square. And we will see... Uh, who completes quickly, who completes quicker, okay? So that we can see which method is more effective. Okay. Hmm. Uh, it's a square my a minus two ab plus b square. Yes, yes. Oh, I... Both of them are taking almost the same amount of time. Yeah. Okay, so you can do either of them. Both of them are fine. Hmm? See you? All right. Uh, can you just uh, take, wait a second? I'll leave that. Okay. Okay, I'm back. All right. 
So the the third one will be done similar similarly as the first one. Uh, can we do the fifth one? The third and fourth I can do. <coughs> fifth one you want? Okay, one second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the fifth one then. Fifth one is 5.2 whole square. So this can be written as 5 plus 0 0.2 whole square. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then we do the A square plus B square thing. We just apply the identity. Uh, 5 square. Okay, fine. Let's put your way. Five square. Uh, plus two multiplied by five multiplied mm -hmm. by zero point two. Okay. Plus uh zero point two square. Okay. So twenty five. Mm -hmm. And then we can write this as ten, right? Yeah. And then, um, then 2.0. No, but say 0. Point, this one, right? Are you talking about this? No, the answer for 10 uh -huh. multiplied by 0. Point yeah, 2. yeah, it will be 2. Yes. And this one, what will this be? Um, wait. What is the square of 2? It is 4, right? And then there is one yeah. decimal place over here. So we will put two decimal places over here. <clears throat> so 0 0.04. <coughs> okay. Huh. So now this is 27.04. See, this was so easy. If you, on the other hand, if you start multiplying it like this, this is going to take more time. But if you are used to this method of, you know, quickly calculating, then you will be able to solve it faster. Okay, fifth one done. Now do you want to do the sixth one? Yeah. 297.5. Into 303. So you have to think about it like this. That I should have. Like see 297. Is just 3 numbers away from 300 right. So it is 300 minus 3. And this one is 300 plus 3. So this becomes your A minus B A plus B. What is that equal to? A minus B, A plus B? Uh, A square multiplied by... Sorry, A square plus B square. Minus, minus B square. Oh, yeah, sorry. A square minus B square. Hmm. So this will be? But uh, do we have to write minus like 300 minus 3 and 300 plus 3? Yeah, what else way do you have to do? Like, can't we write, uh, like, something like uh, 296 plus 1, then both the sides will be positive. 296 plus 1 into 300, 300. plus 3. Do you have any identity for this? You will have to sit and multiply 296. What you'll have to do is you'll have to do the normal way that 296 into 300 plus 3 plus 1 into 300 plus 3 and then you have to sit and multiply these two things but for this it's uh, a square plus 2ab plus 1 square is this a square plus 2ab plus b square is this a plus b whole square is this one the same as this are these two brackets the same what happens in uh, a plus b whole square a plus B whole square means A plus B multiplied by A plus B. The same A and the same B. 
Okay, these I two understand. circles are exactly the, the same. So you cannot apply this technique here. Hmm? So this will be A minus B, A plus B. Here, your A, your A is 300, right? And your B is 3. So like it's uh, it's more convenient if we write minus and plus. Yes. Okay. So then it will be... will be A square minus B square, right? A, A minus B, A plus B is A square minus B square. Minus B square. Hmm. Then? Then uh, 300 minus 3 whole square 300 whole, no 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 not whole square but say 300 square minus 3 square tell me one thing is a minus b whole square the same thing as a square minus b square just think about it and tell me mm, yeah it's the same thing Okay, when you expand this bracket, what do you get? A minus B into A minus B, huh? Yes? Yeah. And this bracket is A minus B into A plus B. Do you see the difference? Yes. Let me give you an example. A minus B whole square. Let's say 5. Um, <laughs> huh, okay. Let's say 5 minus 3 whole square. Okay. And we will see whether it is equal to 5 square minus 3 square. So 5 minus 3 is what? How much is 5 two. minus 3? Two. 2. So 2 square is equal to 4? Four? 4. Now 5 square minus 3 square. So what is 5? Uh, sorry, what is 5 square? Uh, 25 minus 9. 9. And that is 16. Same thing or different? Different. So they are not equal, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Similarly, A plus B whole square is not equal to A square plus B square. In fact, we know that A plus B whole square, this one, the one on the left, it is equal to A square plus B square plus 2AB. So they are not equal, but they will become equal if you add 2AB, then it will become equal. Got it? Yeah. So here we are doing what are we doing? 300 square minus 3 square. So 300 square is going to be what? 9 followed by 4 zeros minus 9. So that's going to be 8, 9, 9, 9. No, sorry. 8, 9, 9, 1. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, wait, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute. Eight, nine. There should be one more nine over here. Hmm? Yeah. So then the other side will be nine thousand plus three. I mean, plus nine. Why plus nine? Because of... Uh, the addition sign. Where are we doing addition? See, Hiba, I don't get confused. Oh, it, it will be minus. Wait, See. so are we doing like one bracket or? Oh, no, no. Okay. Wait, let me explain it to you once again, okay? Let's say you have 11 or rather, okay, you have 9 into 11. Hmm? You, you know very well that it is equal to 99, but I am just showing it to you how to do that process, okay? So, 9 into 11 can be written as 10 minus 1. So, this 9 is 10 minus 1 multiplied by 11, which is 10 plus 1. <coughs> so, 10 minus 1, 10 plus 1. So, this is the same as A minus B. A plus B. 
here your a is 10 and b is 1 a is 10 and b is 1 1 so what is this a minus b multiplied by a plus b equal to it is equal to a, a square, square minus, minus b square. square now a square what is a look here what is a uh is eight. 10 10 right so 10 square because oh, a one, comes minus square. one square fine then minus b ka square b is 1 b ka square getting it yeah so then you get 100 minus 1 which is equal to 99, which is in fact what this is equal to, right? Yes. So similarly, we did this one. Where did it go? Huh. We did this one. 297 into 303. 297, the first number is written by this bracket, okay? 300 minus 3. Then 300 plus 3, that is your second number you wrote 300 as a and 3 as b and then you applied that formula and then you got a square minus b square then you solved it and then you found the final answer understood this Hiba? yes mm, okay a similar question is the seventh one as well Seventy-eight multiplied by eighty-two. Seventy-eight can be written as eighty minus two. Yeah, and then eighty plus two. Eighty plus two. Then a square minus no sorry a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So Very that good. will be a square minus b square. So eighty square minus two square. 80 square minus 2 square. What is 80 square? 80 square is uh, 6,400. <laughs> and then 6,400 minus 4 is yeah. 6,396. Very good. Now, 8.9 whole square. This can be written as? Uh, wait. Um, eight, 8. 8.9 um, multiplied by 8. Point, no, 8.9 plus 1. Can this be written as mean minus 0 0.1? How? What is 9 minus 0 0.1? Okay, fine. 0 Forget that. 8. What is 8.9 plus 0 0.1? 9, right? Yeah. So, you can say that 9 minus 0 0.1 is equal to 8.9. Yes. yes. So this is your 8.9. We have written it in this form. Now, this is what? A minus B whole square? Yes. And that is equal to? Mm, 90 minus 0 0.1. Ha, huh, but no, what is B whole square? And the formula. Uh, a square minus yeah. B square. No, plus no, B square. A square plus B square. 
minus 2 ab 2 ab and what is a and here 9 square plus 0 0.1 square then minus 2 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 0 0.1 so 9 square is 81 then yeah. then 0 0.01 i think very good very good yes continue and then um 18 18, 18 then multiplied by 0 0.1 right then i guess 0 0.18 Mm, no. 18 multiplied by 0 0.1. Here there is just one decimal place, right? So here yeah. this will become a number where there is just one decimal place. Because when you multiply both of them, what is the sum of, what is the total number of decimal places? Just one. So over here the answer will be 1.8. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So this is very simple, 81 point, sorry, 82.81. Why? Because here the one, the ones digit, we are going to multiply, oh sorry, we are going to add all the similar place wala digits. So this is 10th digit, right? 8 is in the, you remember, ones, tens, hundreds. Yeah? Yes. So this is in the ones digit, this is in the tens digit. There is no other tens digit over here. Only this is a ones digit. So we're gonna add the ones digit with the ones digit. So one plus one is two. Eight will be as it is because there is no other tens digit over here. And then 0.81. That is pretty clear why it's 0.81. Okay. Okay. Next, you want to do the ninth one? Yeah. <clears throat> huh. Now, you, you tell me what can this be written as? <laughs> uh, this will <clears throat> wait a second. This will be, um, yeah, that uh, a square. Uh, yeah. No, wait. yeah. First, tell a me. First tell me. This can be written as what? Uh, zero point. Oh, sorry. One. It's one. ten point. It's ten point five. It's ten point five. Are you sure? In my book, it's ten. Chalo, okay, fine. Fine then, 10.5. So this can be written as 10 plus 0 0.5. Yeah? Yeah. And this one, the second 9 one, plus 0 0.5. 9 plus 0 0.5, yes. But you can also write it as 10 minus 0 0.5. Oh, Why yeah. are we doing this? So that we so can that... get the A square minus B square. So A square form. minus B square. Yeah. Okay. So then, then we will write the formula, which is a plus b, a minus yeah. b. Then yeah. that is eight square minus b square. Yeah. Then <clears throat> um, then ten square minus zero point five square. So hundred. So hundred minus, uh, like don't. Zero, uh, zero, zero point two five. Zero point two five. So this becomes ninety nine point seven five, right? If there is like, uh, uh, if the answer was zero zero point two five, right? What do you mean zero zero point two five? Like we removed one zero. If I didn't get you. Like what is uh. Uh, zero point five multiplied by zero point five. But say zero point five multiplied by zero point five. First, tell me what is twenty five. Five square. See, five square is twenty five, right? But over here you have yeah. one decimal place. 
So in the square, in the square of this number, you will have two decimal places. The total number of decimal places in both the numbers, right? So it will be 25, yes, but point. There will be a point over here because there is there are two decimal places. So 0 0.25. <coughs> Get All it? Right, and yeah. 99.75. Fine. So this is the sixth question. Then you have a similar question. Uh, the seventh one is pretty simple, actually. It's very straightforward. The first one you can do by yourself, right? Yeah. It is 50. Let's just do it anyway. 51 square minus 49 square. This is looking like A square minus B square. And we know that it is A plus B, A minus B. Here we are doing ulta. We are doing the reverse. So A plus B, A minus B. A square minus B square can be written as A plus B, A minus B. What is A? A is 51 plus 49 into 51 minus 49. 51 plus 49 is 100. 51 minus 49 is 2. So this is equal to 200. See how this becomes helpful is that imagine you had to calculate this and you have you sat to solve all the 51 square then you solved it and then you find found 49 square and then you solved it and then you subtracted both of them that would be a really lengthy process so instead of that we're just going to make use of these shortcuts make use of these identities to help us with such <coughs> calculations okay okay all right so next, next question. Second one. Uh, zero, one. Yeah, 1 1.02 square minus 0 0.98 square. So this can be written as A square minus B square, A minus B, A plus B. What is A here? This is your uh, A. 1.02. <coughs> yes. Minus 0 0.98. Then yes. 1.02 plus 0 0.98. Hmm. <coughs> so then we start that. What do you get? Real subtract. I think four. Zero point zero four, but <laughs> Oh, yeah, 0 0.04. And then 2. Yeah. And then 0 0.08. Good. Then next is 153 square minus 147 square. This can be written as 150 plus 3. Okay, don't do it like that. Just, just do it like this. This is what? A square minus B square, which is A plus B, A minus B. A is...
What is A here? <laughs> um, one hundred fifty three plus one one hundred forty seven. Then one hundred fifty three minus one hundred forty seven. Yeah. So one fifty three plus one forty seven is what? Three hundred. Yeah. Then minus is six. This one is six. Good. So then this becomes eighteen thousand. Eighteen hundred. Oh yeah, sorry, eighteen hundred. Okay, then next. This will be written again as a square minus b square, a minus b, a plus b. <coughs> so a minus b is what? Uh, twelve point one minus seven point nine. And 12.1 plus 7.9. Good. So this one becomes? 4.2. Good. And this becomes? 20? Yeah. Okay. Now to do this. First, get rid of the decimal point or the decimal place by multiplying it with 10. So the 10 from the 20 will help you. The 0 from the 20 will help you. So this becomes 42 into 2, which is equal to 84. So can we like uh, do it with 0 as well? Sorry? Can we just uh, do it like 4.2 multiplied by 20? Without uh -huh. removing the uh -huh. you can you will eventually uh, end up over here. All right. Next question. I'm sorry, I have uh, guests over like they just came right now. So like okay. I will be back after like five minutes. I will make it quick. Just give me five minutes. Okay, okay, fine.
or came back. Okay, fine. So let's do the final question of this chapter then. Using x plus a into x plus b equals x squared plus a plus b x plus a b the fourth identity right find 103 into 104 104 <clears throat> so, so this can be done as x sorry yeah 100 plus 4 yeah then then uh, um x is 100 yes and a is 3 and yes. then b is 4 very good. Okay, so we'll write uh, the same thing and then mm -hmm. x, yeah, that equation and then 100 square plus yeah. 3, 3 plus uh, 4 multiplied by 100. Yeah. Plus, uh, what are that? Um, 3 into 4. <laughs> yeah, and okay. then ten thousand plus um seven hundred. Yeah. Plus twelve. And that becomes. One thousand seven hundred twelve. Huh. Ten thousand, but you ten thousand. Oh yeah, sorry, ten thousand. Okay, next. And then five point one multiplied by five point two. So here so what? Write, uh, five point. Sorry, five multiplied by zero point one. Five plus zero point one. Yeah, sorry. And then multiplied by 5.0.2. No, 5 plus 0 0.2. 0 0.2. And then uh, 5. Wait. This is X. This is Y. It, this is A. This is B. Yeah. And then <laughs> X then plus A. Then x plus b, so yeah. five square. Yeah. Five square plus uh, zero point one plus zero point two multiplied by five plus zero point one multiplied by zero point two. So twenty five plus zero point three. Uh, multiplied by 5 plus that will be 0 no wait, 0 0.03 no 2 hmm. then and then 25 plus 0. Point, uh, 0. 0.15 no not 0. 0.15 it will be 1.5 because here because you will remove the decimal like one just place. one decimal place but yeah in both of these when you add up the total number of decimal places there is just one decimal place so that is why in the answer there will be just one decimal place so the final answer will be 26.5 2 okay then third one, third one is very simple. Yeah. Uh, 100 plus 3. Then. <clears throat> 100 minus 2. Yeah. And then x plus a, x plus b. Then yeah. 100 square plus. Yeah, just a minute. Your x is. 100, right? Yeah, A is, a is 3. And then B is minus 2. Minus 2, very good. 
हाँ देन तो एक्स स्क्वायर या एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ए बी मल्टीप्लाई बाय एक्स प्लस ए बी ओके एंड देन हंड्रेड स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय माइनस टू नॉट माइ थ्री नॉट मल्टीप्लाई थ्री प्लस माइनस टू वेरी गुड एंड देन um what do you call um then 3 multiplied by minus 2 then then 1000 not 1000 10000 plus uh 100 10000 plus 100 yes plus minus uh, minus 6 ha so this becomes ten thousand ninety four. That's the answer. Then one last one is remaining. Nine point seven multiplied by nine point eight. Yeah. How will we write this? Nine plus zero point seven. Yeah. Uh, Are you I'm getting... sorry. Can you just wait like one minute? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They they're calling me. So I'll um, okay. <clears throat> Uh, after doing this last question, I have to go. Acha. Okay. Fine. Let's complete this then. Okay. Um. Uh, nine point zero seven. I'm sorry. Nine plus zero point seven. Yes. Then nine plus zero point eight. Yes. And then x plus a, x plus b. Okay. This time, can we skip do writing these two things? Let's just do it directly. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So nine square plus yeah. uh, zero point seven plus zero point eight multiplied by nine plus yes. zero point seven multiplied by zero point eight. Very and good. And then and eighty one plus <laughs> um wait uh zero point not zero sorry one point five multiplied by nine plus. Yeah. Uh wait. One uh, sorry zero point fifty six. Five six. Yeah sorry five six. Hmm. And then one point five divided by nine huh. is thirteen point five. Thirteen. <coughs> okay then. Plus eighty one. You know, this would have been better if we had done it like ten minus zero point three multiplied by ten minus zero point.